Our Christy, thank you. And new at five, a woman is wrongfully arrested on a bogus warrant. Now she wants justice and to make sure this never happens again. Seven News reporter Brianna Smith has a story you'll only see on Seven News. The woman who doesn't want to be named in this story isn't disputing what happened six years ago, but she does want to clear up a court mistake that she says landed her in jail four years after she paid her fine. Imagine you're driving. Blue lights show up in your rearview mirror. And instead of a ticket, you're taken to jail on a warrant that shouldn't exist. A Greenville County woman doesn't have to imagine. It happened to her. You get pulled over for, you know, rolling through a stop sign or failure to use a blinker or maybe your tag lights out. And the next thing you know, you're bent over the front of your car, you're handcuffed, you're taken to a detention center, you're strip searched. In 2009, Christopher Prack's client was ticketed for a nuisance complaint. Mr. Court date found guilty and ordered to pay a $515 fine or spend 15 days in jail. She didn't do that, and so a bench warrant was issued for her arrest. In 2011, documents say she paid the full amount. A year later, a Greenville County judge signs his name, stating that the bench warrant is recalled, but her story wasn't done. Fast forward three years, three years after she paid her ticket, paid her fine, you know, did everything she was supposed to do to society, she gets pulled over for a minor traffic infraction, I think it was like a blinker or something, and she's arrested for not paying the fine that she did in fact pay three years earlier. Hours later, the sheriff's office realizes the mistake. But why did the warrant read active to the deputy? State laws require sheriff's offices to do periodic audits of their unserved warrants and the court system to do the same, making sure that every satisfied warrant is noted. Now Pract wants to know where the breakdown happened. Were those reviews done? Were those audits done? Were they presented to the courts, and if so, where's the documentation to prove that they were done? That's why they filed this lawsuit, to find out that information. But until then, practice calling for an overhaul of the entire system. It makes me wonder how many other people are out there with bench warrants for things that they've paid, that, that have been bench warrants that have been recalled. We reached out to the city attorney who said that they couldn't comment on this situation, so we'll continue to follow it as it goes through the court system. In Greenville tonight, Brianna Smith, 7 News. Now we checked with the sheriff's office. They do say that they do these audits of bench warrants several times a year. The sheriff's office said that they couldn't comment on the pending litigation. When it 